A common problem with many Harley-Davidson motorcycles is that they get moisture inside the speedometer and it kind of fogs up and hazes up the lens a little bit. I'm going to see if I can fix that today. You can see what I'm talking about in this area right in here. I'm going to take the thing apart and see if I can figure out a way to prevent that. This is a half inch socket. It's got a washer on there too. Okay, let's cut it off. Let's get it on the bench. Hey, maybe you can see better now. It's not real bad. Sometimes it's worse and sometimes it's better. It looks like it just snapped in with a tab here, one there and one there. It must leak right around here. I don't know of any other way it could get water in it. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out some way to delicately remove that or open up this lip right here to where that face will come off. Gotta be careful because it's a plastic case that I do not want to break. I am leaving some little indentions on the steel frame, but I don't think it'll show from the face side. That popping you're hearing is not the case cracking. It's me slipping off the metal piece. I'm putting a little bit more and more pressure on it all the time. Trying to open that up. That edge is pretty sharp, so you got to be careful. Otherwise, you can be cut pretty good moments later more moments later I'm going to remove this out of here I'm going to remove the glass. I'm going to remove the rubber part from around the glass. Let's see here. Let me check this out. So this rubber part <clears throat> is different from one side to the other. This side has kind of an angled ridge on it. Maybe you can see that. And the other side has some ribs on it. Um, the inside of my glass is definitely goofed up. So let's see if I can clean it. And my idea is to put some silicone or something 
in around this to where I know it's got a good seal. It's got some weird stuff on the inside. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, so I took this in the house and I had to run it under some hot water and use some dishwashing detergent and this scrubbing thing to scrub it. Whatever's on it is really on it. It's almost like it's etched the glass some way. But I do have it probably 100% better than it was. So now then, the only caulking I have is this old tube of silicone, uh, which is not any good. So I've cut the end off of it where I can get to some decent silicone. And what I'm gonna try to do is coat the inside of this where it contacts the glass only with silicone. And then I will probably also do some where it contacts this as well as where it contacts the plastic. But before I do any of that, I'm going to run this under the hair dryer for a few minutes to help it, to help it dry out any of the moisture. Okay, I got this thing fairly warm. I'm gonna say that the moisture's out of that. Let's see now how I can get the silicone in around this piece of glass. I'm basically gonna use this small screwdriver and I'm going to get a little bit and just put it around the inside of that thing go all the way around almost there now I'm gonna put the glass in it and spin it around I think I can still tell what was the inside of the glass and what was the outside. And I think this side is the inside. So that goes away from the beveled edge. I'm going to have the silicone all over everything, so I'll have to do some more cleaning here in a minute. Now if I can take and rotate this rubber on this glass, I think I can get a good seal on it. Okay, now then, this also goes on the inside. So this goes under that piece of rubber. Okay, I'm satisfied I have it clean enough to go together. So, like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of silicone around inside this where it seals to that rubber. And then we're going to put this thing back on there. Looks like a mess, I know. And it is a little bit. I know one thing, you probably will never get this thing apart again. Okay, I got the entire ring on the inside coated with silicone. Now then, I'm going to try to put this in there. Like that. And then I guess I need to also put a band, a ring around the outer of this before I put it on the case. Except that I don't want it so much that it squashes out, so I think I'll put it on the gauge instead. So I'm going to take the gauge and just barely put a little bit around this edge right here. Like I said, I would not want to have to take this thing back apart. I 
So a little bit of moisture in the speedometer wasn't really that bad for me. It just made me mad that it was there. And I wanted to see if I can fix it. This may work and it may not. Time will tell. Okay. I have a pretty good bead around this thing. Now then, let's get this into this. It may take a little coaxing. Almost there. There we go. Now, let me figure out how I'm going to roll this edge back down. Obviously, it needs to have a great deal of pressure down on it as you're closing that up. I'm going to use this big old toy hammer right here. I think I got it started. I feel like it's sticking to the thing. Oh, it looked the silicone on there. That's okay. That'll come off later. Oh yeah. It's all gonna come off. I just need to finish getting this metal rolled down on the back. That's the way it's looking. Maybe even a socket. I actually think I'm doing just better with just a hammer. Okay, I believe I've about got it good enough. So what I'm going to do now, try to clean the front of this thing a little better. I don't have it perfectly clean yet. I'll clean it more after I get it back in the bike. Let some of this silicone around the edge kind of set up and I may take a razor blade and clean it off. But uh, I think it's ready to go back in. Let's see how it goes here. Okay, this just fits up through here, through this piece of rubber right here. Got to make sure you get it oriented correctly or close to it. And see if we can get this, get it through this rubber piece without the rubber piece coming loose on us, like it did there. It wants to pop that little rubber seal out, but now then I got it. So then this goes like this. It aligns on these two pins here, one there and one there. And that's what indexes the thing to the right spot. I'm almost there. It's a tight fit, but there it is. Rubber seal is still good all the way around. That has nothing to do with the speedometer leaking. Okay, let's get this back on the bike. Kind of got them tangled up here. This little wire tie goes on there. 
Well, I got a mess going here. Redo this a little bit. Just barely snug that up a little bit. Got to make sure the little two tabs are into your leather piece if you still have that, the two tabs on the bottom of this. And I think that's it. Let's see what it looks like if it'll come on. Oh yeah. Now I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is much, much better than it was. Don't see any of that stuff on the back side in this area now. If this video has been helpful to you in any way, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.